Burba Mystic here. This is my husband, Eric Burba, and we are going to attempt to do a quick beard oil tutorial. And this is something he's been using for quite a while, and I sometimes sneak to put on my dry ends because it has really um, hydrating, supportive oils. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on over to him. So tell us what's in the oil. Okay, I got this recipe off the line. It's pretty simple, it's just three oils mixed with uh, two, what do you call them? Essential oils. Essential oils, <laughs> perfect. So let's just get to it. So jojoba oil, uh, I picked this up at some health food store in Beaver Creek a long time ago and it's lasted me forever and I've used it in other stuff. So we got jojoba oil. You sound so sexy when you say jojoba, right? I know. <laughs> um, fractionated coconut oil, I think I got this off of Amazon. It's a ton of it, it's therapeutic grade, it's 100%, so I made sure it was 100% pure before I bought it. Last, sweet almond oil. I don't know where Lauren got this. Probably another health food store, maybe in Centerville or something. I don't know. Yep. Yep, perfect. Yep. All right, the two essential oils that we're gonna need is cedar wood. And hopefully that reads cedar wood when you guys see this video and hopefully it's not backwards. But if it is backwards, it says cedar wood. And then lastly, sandalwood. The best smelling essential oil that there was ever made. I don't know, rose is pretty hard to beat. No, this is better. Oh, oh. Okay. So, this is really simple. It's just three parts of each oil, equal parts, and then three to four drops of each of the oils. So it's nothing too crazy. And it doesn't matter which order you put them in. Um, the website I got the recipe off of had everything in ounces and tablespoons. And actually one ounce equals one tablespoon, and both of those equal approximately uh, no, I'm sorry, a half of an ounce is a tablespoon, and both of those are approximately 30 milliliters, so I'm putting in 15 milliliters each of all these oils. So, after all that rambling, I'm pretty sure I probably got something wrong. Just 15 <laughs> milliliters of each, or a half ounce of each, or a tablespoon of each, whatever units you want to use. Maybe a little quick tip is when you have an empty um, 15 milliliter essential oil bottle, you just take the reducer cap off and you fill it all the way with the carrier oil and then you dump it in because this is 15 milliliters. Maybe next time you can try that. I'm counting and I'm making a mess. That's okay. We can clean it up. I'm going to clean it. All right. So it's jojoba, then coconut. Like I said, again, it doesn't matter the order. And I hate that I'm using the same uh, pipette for all the bottles, but we're just trying to make this quick. And I wanted to conserve plastic and not use three pipettes. You're so, you're so conservative. I appreciate it. Mother Nature appreciates you. All right, so I think this is a four ounce container and as you can see, it takes up about three ounces. Um, that doesn't make sense. So this is why I did a half ounce, half ounce, half ounce. I think this is two ounces, babe. Okay, that makes I more say, sense. I don't then, think this is Because it took up three quarters. All right, so anyway, now you put in your essential oils. So you look for the little hole near the little dispenser, and that's where the drops are going to come out. And... How many drops do you use? Um, three to four. That's it? And it smells that strong? Yep. Three, four. And I always put in the whole four for the sandalwood because it's the best in the world. So it's a sandal wood. Uh, for the cedar wood, I don't know if this is going to drip. I say, yeah, we're getting pretty, pretty low on the How cedar wood. Oh, we're at four minutes. we got to hurry up. No. We'll be all right. So go slowly if you want to go drip by drip. One, two, three. I'll just go ahead and do a fourth, too. Uh, I think one of my students said. No, I'll pick it back up. All right, so that's the beard oil. Then you just put the little cap on and I shake it up before every use. So it's real simple. Then all you do to apply it is you put about a dime size drop on your hands or whatever feels comfortable with your length of beard. I don't know what length of beard you have. Maybe you don't even have a beard. Um, so a dime size in your hand, you rub it together. Then I like to put it in my beard like this, make sure it's all even. Then lastly, I took my cedarwood comb Again, I got off of Amazon, I'm sure. And then I just brush my beard, and that is it. Now my hands smell like cedar wood. Not as good as the sandalwood. 
So um, just a couple of the therapeutic properties of these two oils. So um, the specific blend or um, species of sandalwood that we used was the aloes, which comes in the healing oils of the Bible kit. The closest smell that you can get to that would be the Royal Hawaiian sandalwood, which finally came back in stock um, about two or three months ago. And then there's sacred sandalwood. The sacred sandalwood has just a slight difference to it, but they smell really good. Just put it in your beard, babe. No way, it's just His hands nasty are just oil. covered. We'll put it in my hair. My my dry ends could use it. I I do. I use it all the time. Okay, do both sides, please. No, it's just... Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know how to. I. I don't know. Anyways, so sandalwood. Um, a cool thing about sandalwood is that it really is powerful for <laughs> focus. I can't stand it. Focus. focus I'm trying to focus and I can't focus as I'm sitting here talking about focusing because the smell is faint. And so when the smell is subtle, it actually makes your um, central nervous system, your amygdala, and um, your ability um, to smell your, your limbic system it makes it work harder to focus on analyzing and um, categorizing the smell vibration. So it, it brings your brain online more, and that's why it's one of the big um, aroma profiles in the blend. Um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I feel like this is hilarious that I can't remember. Um, uh, brain... Oh my gosh, I literally, I can't remember. Obviously, I need I need more cedar wood. Um, but anyways, it'll come back to me in just a minute. Okay, and then cedar wood. Cedar wood's really great for all scalp and hair related things. It actually helps stimulate growth. It also helps um, release melatonin from the, the pineal gland. So it has a calming effect on the central nervous system. It helps people fall asleep. Um, it really helps the body and, and the brain um, create and stimulate natural melatonin to help you sleep and sync up to circadian rhythms. Um, but it also is 98% um, sesquiterpenes, which is oxygen. So this is the, the biggest bang you can get for the buck. So this is less than $12 for this 15 milliliter. And it's very helpful for little kids who can't sit still, they can't focus, they're like swinging around in their chair. It's a great oil to diffuse while they're doing their homework, especially if you pair it with something like lemon and lavender. So um, if you know that you would love to get some of these oils and join our team, Mystic and Mundane Essentials, you can go ahead and you can look down below, you can see our link. Um, if you're already in our team, and you would like to get your hands on these babies, I would suggest that you go ahead and throw them into your monthly ER order, your central rewards order, or reach out to your nearest upline or to me um, directly and we'll get you all taken care of. Thank you so much for watching this video and um, we'll see you later. Okay. Real quick. Oh, what? So oh, while you sorry. were talking, I added four more drops of sandalwood because I didn't like the smell. But then I realized I had cedarwood all over my hands and maybe that's why I thought it smelled more like cedarwood than sandalwood. So pretty much you can just add as many drops as you want until it gets the smell that you need. Okay. But I wouldn't use tons and tons of sandalwood because it's really expensive. It is expensive, but it's also very valuable. And then the thing about it with these um, smells, is, especially with sandalwood, is the longer that it sits, the more it emulsifies. And the more intense the aroma, the complexity of it mm. will get. So it will get stronger as time goes on as well. Okay. So just just for any viewer um but yeah okay well thank you feel free to leave any comments below let us know how your beard oil is going and we'll catch you guys later okay bye